Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we enter into these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion that we may merit to receive your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book, The Prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O lands, listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth, from my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made me of a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow, in the quiver he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had a toil in vain and for nothing, uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with God, my God. For now the Lord has spoken who formed me as a servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. I will 
blessing of your salvation. I will sing all of your salvation. In you, O oh Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing all of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. Oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing all of your salvation. For you are my hope, O oh God, my trust, O oh God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb you are my strength. I will sing all of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing all of your salvation. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, what you are going to do, do quickly. Now none of those reclining at table realized why he said this to him, 
Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, buy what we need for the feast or to give something to the poor. So Jesus, Judas took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus was uh, deeply troubled. Troubled uh, not so much, I believe, by what he was going to suffer there in uh, Jerusalem, but suffering for the one who was betraying him. Something that Julian uh, of Norwich said that when God sees our sin, he sees our suffering. He doesn't say, oh my goodness, I'm so shocked that Father Ed or any one of us would do such a thing. He's not in pain because he's, you know, so scandalized because he knows ahead of time what we're going to do and not do. Good works, bad works. No, he sees our pain because he loves us. And when we withdraw from love and sin, as Judas did, it hurts God because of love. Because he loves us. He doesn't want to see us suffer. He doesn't want to see us with, withdraw from love. As he says, remain in my love. Why? Because he wants us there. And so he's deeply troubled. Usually the Greek is the Greek phrase is like his guts were churning. <laughs> so it's a really graphic kind of uh, visual of what Jesus was suffering. Again, uh, the one uh, they're asking about, who is it? As John leans back against Jesus' chest, the Latin is in sino Jesu, to lean on the breast, the chest of Jesus, to draw close to his heart. Again, a practice that we should all do in one way or the other, draw near to Jesus, draw near to his heart. If you have a question in your life, there is no other answer like Jesus to, to go to him. You know the Latin for the one, ite ad Joseph, go to Joseph. That was the instruction down in Egypt to get the food they needed. We say ite ad Jesu, go to Jesus for whatever questions, whatever problems, whatever he needs to have. Our first instinct as Christians should be go to Jesus. Lean on him, pray for wisdom as to what we need to do. Again, we need to do things, but ideally it's flowing from a foundation in Christ, and so we must lean on him as John leaned on him, concerned about who would betray Jesus here amongst the 12. Again, Jesus cared for Judas, and yet he still betrayed him. Being in the 12 does not mean that we won't betray Jesus. It can happen suddenly. But here's what happens when Judas betrays him. Now is the Son of Man glorified for all, 
all the good works that he did, all the healings, all the exorcisms, all the teachings, all the professions of faith, everything that Jesus witnessed in his public life in those three years, the one thing that glorified him most at this moment was Judas walking out betraying him, and betraying him. Not because he's glorified by sin, but he's glorified by what that's going to do. It's going to save the world. Jesus being betrayed and crucified is going to save souls. That's why God is glorified. And that sinners like us can turn to him and say, Jesus, I claim your blood over my sinfulness. That glorifies God. So in some strange sense, our sins brought to Jesus glorifies God the Father. That's where our sins become like jewels in the crown of God. And then he wants to share that glory with us. It's strange but true that our sins repented of, brought to Jesus, asking for forgiveness. Glorify God. Look at the testimony of St. Paul. He was out killing Christians for a living until he was converted. And then he could say, look what I did, and look what God did to me. You too can find a home in Christ. If St. Paul can find a home, we can find a home too. And so we can have confidence in approaching him. Peter betrays him as well. And yet we know that Peter came back to him, unlike Judas. Peter did not despair so much that he, he walked away or disbelieved in God's mercy. No, he came to him with a great confidence. Again, if we do those things, we become that missionary church that goes to the ends of the earth. We're not far from that here in the Renton, Kent area. We're kind of far from Jerusalem. <laughs> the church has gone practically to the ends of the earth, but we're not done yet. I've heard there's some souls that aren't saved yet. That means the bride of Christ is not fulfilled. We cannot be content as Catholic Christians when there are souls waiting for the gospel. And if we're not fulfilled yet, then we have to seek that. Lord, how can we use our gifts to bring other souls to Christ? Again, this Holy Week is a great opportunity to offer your week in reparation for sins, as Jesus did, to walk in his path as we do the stations of the cross, as we remember his passion in a particular way, offering it for those souls that need him most. Again, we have two examples of beautiful, positive sacraments. Here we have a First Communion coming. Gabriel is going to receive his First Communion tonight. Uh, family is moving, so they can't stay until May for our normal First Communion. So we have First Communion coming and a 50th wedding anniversary. Joe and Beth, are going to, uh, we're going to celebrate that with a prayer and a blessing. Again, positive effect of Christ going to the ends of the earth not without us, but through us and with us as we are members of his body. God bless you. So let us stand and offer all of our petitions to the Lord. We do pray for the whole church during this holy week that she might always walk in the footsteps of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Pray for governments around the world that they would protect the freedom of religion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for those suffering most in poverty, illness, or any distress. For their needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And we pray for the repose of the soul of Manuel, Paras, for whom we offer this Mass, and pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We also pray for the for Christina Daniels Arieg on the occasion of her birthday. For this intention, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Gabriel Alora on his first communion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Tuan Ho, for, his, for a successful surgery tomorrow, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
We also pray for all who have died today. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And if I could have uh, Joe and Beth come up to the center here for a blessing. The Lord be with you. I just pray, Joe and Beth, in thanksgiving for your 50 years of marriage. The, the actual day is April 6th, but I'm not going to be here, so we're doing the blessing now, so I get to share <laughs> my privilege. 50 years of uh, love, 50 years of sacrament, the power of Christ, holding them together and growing in beautiful good works and friendships and building up this community. Uh, it's a glorious uh, work that you've undertaken, so we ask for God's blessing. And we'll give you a few moments of silence here where you can renew those vows in your hearts that you made uh, 50 years ago, and you've kept those vows. So what a grace of God to be here with you. So we just give a moment of silence as they pray their vows in silence. We pray for the Holy Spirit to continue to strengthen them. Lord God and Creator, we bless and praise your name. In the beginning, you made man and woman so that they might enter a communion of life and love. You likewise bless the union of Joe with Beth so that they might reflect the union of Christ with his church. Look with kindness on them today. Amid the joys and struggles of their life, you have preserved the union between them. Renew their marriage covenant. Increase your love in them and strengthen their bond of peace so that they may always rejoice in the gift of your blessing. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Now you have to give us the secret. How did you do that 50 years? It's, actually, Father, it's more than 50 years because we were classmates from first grade to ah, high Ah, first school. grade. Wow, beautiful. Yes. So she 50 didn't, years plus another 10 years. Did she throw an eraser at you or something? What <laughs> and got she, your attention? She wishes to have another 25 years of blissful marriage, Father. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, Father. Yeah, thank you. Please be seated while we prepare our altar for the Eucharist. Mayor 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray, on these offerings of your family and to those you make partakers of these sacred gifts. Grant a share in their fullness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Pleni Sun Celi et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna. Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all the bishops, and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. In your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Just a reminder that uh, Gabriel, you get to go first tonight, and we'll uh, follow your good example, whether you're receiving on the hand nice and reverently or on the tongue, receiving Jesus, communion. It's I not taking communion, so adults, the most listen so up. Sacrament. It's not taking Jesus, it's receiving him. You, Same on the tongue. And I decide to receive so we're not kind of trying to grab at Jesus, it's just put your tongue out nice and reverently, eyes closed, seems to help me. Uh, so you can receive Jesus and not take Jesus again. Uh, it's helpful for everyone, it's the reverent way to, to receive our Lord. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. The blood of Christ.
Man's crush on his forgiven, the sin is remitted. Blessed the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, in whose spirit is no guile. God did not spare his own son. But handed him over for us all. I kept it secret and my frame was wasted. I groaned all day long for your hand by day and by night lay heavy upon me. Indeed, my strength. by the psalmist's heat. God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. To you I have acknowledged my sin, my guilt I did transgression to the Lord, and you have forgiven the guilt of my sin. God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. So Such a one they shall not reach. God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. You are a hiding place for me. You keep me safe from distress. You surround me with cries of deliverance. God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. I will instruct you and teach you should go, I will fix my eyes upon you. God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. He not like horse and mule, an intelligent Needing bridle and pet, or else they will not approach you. Many sorrows has the wicked, but loving mercy surrounds one who trusts in the Lord. God did not spare his own son.
Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, but that by this same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Congratulations, Gabriel. Beautiful example. You did great, yeah. You know, and uh, as beautiful as this tabernacle is, it's such a special place here that we keep Holy Communion, we keep Jesus right there for worship and for the sick and others. Um, there's one thing better than a tabernacle. That's a living tabernacle. That's you <laughs> and all of us who receive. We get to move around and share Jesus' love wherever you go. So he's living within you in a special way now through the Holy Eucharist. So congratulations. Congratulations, too, to Joe and Beth on their 50th anniversary. Yeah, you want 25 more? <laughs> Not 50 more. You, you downgraded to 25? Okay. Very good. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. That's his way of saying the Mass has ended, right? <laughs> Let us uh, offer the antiphon to Our Lady in honor of all these sacraments here. Do we have an antiphon to Our Lady? No, we don't. It's not on here. But we do the Ave Regina Celorum still. So if you know that by heart. Ave Regina Celorum, Ave Domina Angelorum, Salve Radix, Salve Porta, Ex Qua Mundo Lux Est Orta, Gaudi Virgo Gloriosa, Super Omnis Speciosa, 